Hello. Well, I think it's quite safe to say not many Sunderland fans expected that today. So what a fantastic win, what a fantastic result and what a fantastic performance, especially second half. Um, went there a day not expecting a great deal. Weather was miserable, was pissing down, soaking, freezing. But um, see a second half performance, we absolutely fully deserved that win. But we started off with two changes. So Roberts came into the side for Abdullah Bar. Job came back in for um, Mason Burstow in Mike Dodds's first um, first game in his second spell in charge. Um, so we had Patterson in goal. We had Niall Huggins. We had Dan Ballard, Luke O'Neill, Trey Hume, Pierre Edward, Dan Neil, um, Roberts, Clark. El Sheesh and Job in kind of playing a false nine. That was kind of the standout thing where we play without the centre forward and Job was playing the furthest forward out of everybody. Um, <clears throat> first half was a little bit cagey, um, a little bit edgy. You know, both sides trying to suss each other out. But we grew into the half and then on 20 minutes, um, sorry, 40 minutes first, you know, we, we were a great... Great move down the right hand side. The cross comes in. It comes out to Jack Clark. I think Jack Clark takes a shot. It comes back to Job. Job puts it in. Referee gives offside or linesman gives offside in what must be one of the worst offsides I've ever seen in my life. If you see this, look at this. It's not even close. Not even close. And that was just a kind of a starter of the way the officiating went all afternoon. We know what Darren Bond's like. Absolutely. You know, terrible referees, he's awful. He was awful for both sides. And that was kind of set the tone for the way things were going to go. 20 minutes, Roberts gans on a, a fantastic run. Um, gets into the box, just about to shoot. He's tripped. Looks like he's tripped. Referee, no penalty. And you're like, oh, here we go. You know, it's again one of them days. Referee's going to, going to shaft us again. But like I say, we grew into the game. They didn't really create a great day. Yes, they looked, they looked at a threat going forward. But, um, you know, not really hurting us too much. And I thought, you know, we were just, we were slowly growing into the game. Last five minutes before the break, they then got on top a little bit more. And I was pleased when half-time came because that was when they had their kind of most threatened spell and looked as they were going to get a goal. 34 minutes, Ballard with a crunch and tackle on Major, But just before that should have been a free kick to us. Wasn't given. Ballard goes through uh, Major. Gets a yellow card. Major has to go off in tears apparently. Um, and didn't get a great response from the Southern fans either. Um, chance of one greedy bastard as he was getting off. Um, and we go in at half time nil nil. And you know, you're thinking, you know, can we do something to up the pace a little bit? Help can we make some little changes? Second half we came out and we were absolutely fantastic. I thought second half. We upped the tempo, we were first to every ball, we were getting stuck in. Got the crowd going, fully, fully deserved. We take the lead. But before that, Mike Dodds, master stroke, 62 minutes. Off comes El Shisho, I thought, struggled to get into the game in the first half. Second half, he started off quite well and was getting into the game. Hit the post. Um, Roberts had it, then had the follow-up tip around the post, but it was given as a goal kick, but it should have been a corner. Like I say, 62 minutes. Off takes, he takes El Shisho off, puts Pritchard on. We know what we've been, what we'll get with Pritchard. We've been crying out for him to be in the side for, for weeks and weeks. Comes off the bench, we get a free kick on the right hand side, whips the cross in. Six or seven minutes later, after he comes on, whips the cross in. Ballard's there with a header, fantastic header. It's 1 0, and the roof absolutely comes off the place. You know, we're absolutely flying. And then it's a case of, you know, do we do and sit back? We've got to keep on attacking them, keep on getting them, and that's exactly what we did do. You know, again, High tempo, getting stuck into tackles, flying into tackles, Trey Hume, you know, rattling into tackles of what we've been what we've been wanting. It was great to see. And then in 84 minutes, Pritchard again. We'll get there's a bit of a bit of a break away. We'll win the ball, we'll break away. Pritchard sends the ball inside, sends Dan Nail through, and Dan Nail as calm as you like. One on one with the goalkeeper. Great finish, chips it over him, it's 2-0, and you're thinking, DME, what a win. You know, just what we've needed after the back of a few decent, uh, sorry, a few poor performances. We looked as we were going to be up against it today, but like I say, a second half, absolutely fantastic.
Um, then on the 80th minute, they get a goal back just when you think the game's won. Obviously, in typical Sunderland fashion, we give them a goal. Cross comes over. I thought it was an own goal from where we were, but it's been given to Thomas Asantia. Kind of flicks it. It goes over Patterson. And you think, here we go. Going to be a nervous four or five minutes. There was six minutes of injury time. Can we hold on? But the lads, to be fair, held on. And we won the game quite comfortable in the end, I thought. Massive win ahead of Tuesday night. You know, great for Mike Dodge. Great for the lads. Fantastic response from you know what's been a pretty turbulent week and uh you know absolutely couldn't be happier but like i said the referee was absolutely shocking shocking for both sides darren bond is just a poor poor referee um he shattered us many a times before and like i said for them he was missing fouls given fouls that weren't fouls not stopping the time wasting for both sides so you know he's a disgrace but thankfully it didn't really spoil the result too much um player ratings so Anthony Patterson didn't really have a great day to do. Like I say, they are threatened, but he didn't didn't really have that many saves to make. So six out of ten. Trey Hume, I thought was absolutely fantastic, especially second half. He was flying at tackles, getting stuck in, trying to get us on, on the front foot. Eight out of ten. Um Niall Huggins, the same type of thing. Getting back, breaking play up seven out of ten. Luke O'Neill, nine, seven out of ten as well. Stood up well to their, you know, their physical attack. Dan Ballard. For me, he was man of the match. I thought it was absolutely tremendous. Gets his goal, put some crunch and tackles, and he, he made a crunch and tackle in the, in the first half to save a certain goal from Madger. Then gets his goal, and throughout the second half, just stood up to their to their attack, winning headers in the box from corners and set pieces. So Dan Ballard, nine out of ten, and man of the match. Um, Dan Neil gets his goal, eight out of ten. I thought he was great in the middle of the pitch again. You know. Typical, you know, could easily have been a captain's performance if he'd been, you know, if he was made captain, but it would have been like a typical captain's performance in that middle of the pitch, marshalling what to do, getting stuck in. Ekwa, I thought Ekwa was not at his best. He was a little bit slow in getting into the game, but second half he improved. Seven out of ten for Ekwa. Um, Roberts, I thought he had a great game today. He was getting on the ball, taking people on. So eight out of ten. I think he got man of the match on Sky. I think he did. So I'm going to give him eight out of ten. Um, El Sheesh, like I say, struggled to get in the game in the first half. Didn't really know he was playing. But second half, he came out and looked a bit better. He looked to get on the ball more. And he, he hit the post, almost got a goal. So 7 out of 10 for El Sheesh. Jack Clark, a, a one struggled to get in the game in the first half. Purely just because the, the, the kind of sussed him out. Double marked him. But he was still trying to make things happen. He got the shot away. That should have been the goal for Job. So 7 out of 10 for Clark. And Job, even though he was playing in not his natural position, tried his best. But at just the times from for me, he needs to be stronger. He needs to butt into his defenders and hold the ball up a little bit more. We lost it quite a little, quite a bit too easy at times. It was coming straight back, just purely because it wasn't sticking. But he tried his best, you know, and he was unlucky. Seven out of ten. He should have had a goal. Was this loud? Shouldn't have been seven out of ten. Pritchard, you know, fantastic cameo, two assists. You know what you're gonna get. Dodge masterclass by putting them on in 60 minutes. Gets the two assists, gets us the two goals. So 8 out of 10 for Pritchard. Meander, again, looked lively when he come on, got stuck about his, his pace. He also was involved in the build-up to their goal, uh, to our goal, sorry, so to the second goal. So 7 out of 10 for Meander. So I, all in all, a fantastic performance, a fantastic win. Great platform to build on another really hard game on Tuesday. From what we can gather, that Dodge is going to be in charge again on, on Tuesday as well. There hasn't been much movement on the manager front. So they'll continue the, the interviewing over the next couple of days. But if we can put that kind of performance in again, especially the second half performance against Leeds, we'll give them a good game. It's going to be another tough game. They are a step, step up again from West Brom. I think you know they've got some great forward players. So it's going to be another test. But we'll move on. And uh, it's a... It's a, a massive three points. I think it puts us at up at seventh. I think we are now, or we will before the three o'clock games kick off. So, let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below. What was your thoughts on the match? What was your thoughts on the performance? And who was your man of the match? On the shirt competition, the, the Arsenal shirt, I believe there's there's a three way tie. Um, so I'll be doing another video. Um, probably I'll do it in the uh, the Leeds United preview video where we'll we'll uh, we'll draw the names. I think the three names are Christopher, Mister Jones. Gordon Syrett and David Newell, both uh, the three of them predicted 10 goals, so they'll go into a draw for 
um, the Arsenal shirt. I'll do it on the Leeds preview. It'll be out probably uh, tomorrow or Monday. So stay tuned for that. Um, but please like, share and subscribe. Till the next one. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Stay safe. And I will speak soon. How are the lads? Ta-ra.